And now Autolite and its 96,000 dealers everywhere present Suspense. My signal to go? Afraid so, Doctor. Darling, am I wrong or are we married? Oh, Ted, let's not start arguing. Are Ted. we married or aren't we? Ted, Mother's waiting for me. I've got to go home to her. Don't you think she... I'm waiting? Don't you think I'm sick of living in that apartment without you? I'm sick of living without you, Ted. All right, then leave your mother and come back to me. Darling, I need you. Half the town is down with flu and I'm out on calls all night. What would I do with her? Bury her in an old lady's home? Ted, you could come and move in with us. Thanks. I tried that once. Goodbye. Darling, you can't go on living in a, in a, a an old house with a sick old lady. Darling, it isn't my choice to live alone with her. It's yours. Emily. go in a minute, but understand this first. If you scream or try to run out of the house, you'll annoy me, and when I'm annoyed, I'm not responsible for my actions. Do you understand? Or are you as stupid as your dog? Who are you? Your guest. What? Just be calm, and I'll be calm, and nothing will happen to you or your mother. Where is my mother? Come with me. There's your mother. I had to gag her because she wouldn't keep her mouth shut. How can you live with a woman like that? Always talk, talk, talk. You can take the gag off now. You can make her promise to shut up. Go on, stop staring at my face. Mother, please, for our sake, promise. All right, take it off. I tried to explain to your mother that it's like talking to a selfish, spoiled child. I couldn't drum it into her stubborn brain that I've got to stay here. You get out of this house quickly. This is my house. I don't care that you have to... Shut up. I told you not to make me lose my temper. I don't want to kill anymore. Why can't you stop talking? Why can't you stop nagging? Mother, please be quiet if you don't. Please forgive her. She's a sick woman. I am sick, too. Why doesn't she let me alone? I, I don't want to kill anymore. I don't want to. I'll handle it. Please, can, can you tell me how long you have to be with us? I don't know. Don't annoy me. I want to think. He's been thinking all day. Shh. You can't stay here all night. I'll stay here until they lose all track of me. find me here. They won't find me. Who's they? The hangman. They are like hangmen. That's no hospital. It's a prison. They never let me alone. They put me into an electric chair that's worse than the gallows. They're only trying to help you to make you Don't well. say that. How would you like to have 20,000 volts shot into your brain? How would you like to be plunged into an inferno of swirling baths until you drowned a thousand times? They'll never get me back. They'll never get me back. Are, 
Are you hungry? Hungry? Well, I guess I am. I hadn't thought of it before. If I am to be your guest for a while, I should think you would feed me. Of course. I'll run down to the store and get a few things for supper. Oh, look now, miss. I may be terribly hungry, but I am not that terribly insane. You will not go down to the store to pick up a few things. You will not run out to get help. We will have supper from what you have here. I'm not the sort of guest that wishes to intrude upon your hospitality. When will you leave? For your own sake, someone's sure to come by to visit us. Who, for instance? The milkman? The mailman? Well, they'd hardly stay for tea. You see, miss, I know that no one comes to visit you all day because I've been here all day. At least I've been out watching the house, and I know. Not even the children come to play in the block. Thanks to your mother. Children are kind enough to realize my mother's a sick woman. Emily, make him go away before he kills me the way he killed the dog. Oh, please, mister, I'm a sick, nervous woman. <laughs> your mother is a nervous woman. She drives me to do things that I don't want her to. Can't you shut her up? Can't you put her to sleep? Oh, no, Emily, no, I couldn't. Take her into the bedroom and no, put her to no, sleep. No, 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 Emily, I don't want to. I don't go to sleep, and when you wake up in the morning, you'll be gone. Oh, no, no. You will not shut the door. Wouldn't lock anyway. I've taken all the keys out of the door. I have to undress her. Put her to bed with her clothes on. I'm not getting out of this wheelchair. Mother, if you could just go to sleep. No, Emily, I don't want to. You took her sleeping. What? What's that? What did you say? Answer me! My mother usually takes sleeping pills for insomnia. Not tonight, Emily, not tonight, please! I couldn't know. How many does she usually take? <laughs> Two. Two. No, no, not tonight. <laughs> take these. Take them. Or did you forget that I cut your dog's throat? Come with me, Emily. Oh, Emily. No, no, please don't leave me alone, Emily. Please, please don't leave me alone, Emily. Emily, please don't leave me alone. Emily, Emily. She's an awful pest, isn't she? Sit down, Emily. Now, Emily, how do you customarily spend your evenings? Do you usually read here while your mother sleeps? Not often. I get enough books at the library. Really? What sort of work do you do? I'm a librarian. Won't you please go? I, I promise to be quiet about your being here. It'll get How late do you stay up? I usually go to sleep quite early. Oh, indeed. Well, in that case, we'll turn out the light. You are quite isolated at this end of the road, but with the light on, one of the neighbors might become curious. Now, Emily... You say you are a librarian. What time do you usually leave for work in the morning? Are you staying all night? Yes. Then I'll probably leave in the morning when you'll leave. I am not leaving in the morning, but you are. I don't understand. Oh, it's simple. If you fail to report for work, people will wonder what happened to you, and someone is bound to be curious enough to come here to find out what will you do then. No, Emily. You're going to work as usual in the morning. My mother. Oh, don't worry, Emily. I'll take care of your mother. Oh, no. Oh, I won't harm her. If you don't talk at all about me in the library tomorrow, you will not go to the police. You will work at your job all day, and you will come home tomorrow night after work as if nothing had happened. Didn't I make myself clear? Or don't you really like your mother? Please, I promise I'll do what you say. <sighs> That's a very sane approach, Emily. And now we return to Act Two of Suspense. This ought not to be accepted as a true estimate of Jefferson. It is not true that he sacrificed his principles for the sake of hey, popularity. Hey, listen, will you keep quiet? This is a library. I'm trying to study. Oh. Uh, if it were, why was it that he enforced his embargo policy? 
Dorothy so vigorously, as we shall see, as seriously... I shall have to ask you to leave if you don't stop this instant. Ah. Uh. Oh, quiet. And if you talk or laugh again, you'll be barred from the library for two weeks. Brad, no consideration. Poor mother alone all morning with that maniac. Please, God, don't let me crack up and scream. He, he warned me if I tell a soul, he'd kill my mother. I wonder if I dare leave now. I warn you, you are not to arouse suspicion by leaving your job before the usual time. A penny for your thoughts. Oh, go, Brent. Oh, Emily, can't a guy even ask his wife to lunch? I'm not going to lunch. Please take away. Emily, listen. I've been making calls on my patients all morning, and it suddenly occurred to me that, well, I'm the one who's sick. I've been sick inside ever since you left me. Emily, please. Darling, I'm right about your mother. She needs care, the kind of care that she can get in a, in a decent home for elderly people, where there are trained nurses and doctors. Oh, home, that's all you can think of. You can't stand my mother in the same house with you. Oh, I can't stand leaving my mother alone in the house without me. All right, that's the last run. I'll go on. Get out. Get out, all of you. Don't come back until you learn how to behave yourselves in a library. You'd better go, too. Emily. Emily, I'm worried about you. Why, why won't you come back to the apartment? Please come back. I wish I could. Well, why not, then? I can't. I can't. Why don't you? I can't tell you why. Oh, please, Ted, will you go away? Emily, believe me, I don't hate your mother. I hate what she's doing to you, and I hate what, what she's doing to us. And I hate what I'm going to have to tell you now. I sent you a letter late last night. This morning I got sick thinking about it. I wish that I could get it back. That's why I came over here now. But... Honestly, it's no use. I want you, when you get home, to read that letter. And then, if you can, please call me at my office tomorrow for lunch. I hope you can. Dearest Emily. Well, how dare you? Don't interrupt me. Dearest Emily, I can't live like this. I can't live without you, but I can't live with you and your mother. It's a terrible thing on both our minds, and perhaps we ought to make a clean break and be free of each other. Ah, oh, good reason. Will you shut up? Your mother is like acid eating into both our lives. Well, how could he say? I'm inclined to agree with you. Are you? <laughs> That's your daughter. I'll see if she's alone. Mother, where are you all? The burned the dog in the furnace. He's been torturing me all day. Torture? Well, perhaps it was. You see, Emily, I've been reading your mother a letter your husband sent you. You don't have to read it. Oh, but I read all your mail today. What else was there for me to do? You can get out. Yes, Emily, get rid of him. He's driving me crazy. Stop whining. She has nothing to say about it. Emily, don't. Mother, please, Stop trying to spare her feelings. Oh, she Emily, isn't worth it. Emily, She's acid. Don't. That's what your husband called her. Acid. No. She's a parasite. No. Stupid cruel. A blood-sucking no. parasite. Oh, Emily, make him stop. Make him stop. I'm a sick woman. Get rid of I warn you. I'd kill you right now if I didn't have a use for you. Oh, Emily, help. Tell her to stop annoying me. Please, you're killing both. You're not making things easier. Take her in the other room. Put her to bed. Oh, no. No. Put her to sleep. No, no. Give her some of those pills, a double dose. I 
ache too much. I'm tired. Yes. Why don't you lie down for a while? I haven't slept for days, but I'm not that stupid. Forgive me, but what happened to your face? It twitches when I get tired. Forgive me. But why do you let your mother ruin your life? She's not ruining my life. I know what I'm doing. Do you? You know, I thought I did until it was too late to go back over the mistakes. I just let them pile up. And then my girl... Well, because of her, my face. I had to do it when she became too annoying. You killed her? They put me away. The lawyers pleaded insanity for me. I'd rather have died. But I am not going back. I am not going back because I am not insane. I don't think you are. You're, you're quite sensible. Why don't you be sensible enough to leave this house? I've got to have time to think, to hide away, plan my next move. You're, they're bound to catch up with you if you stay too long in one place. I'll kill again if they catch up with me. I'll kill again. Don't annoy me, Emily. Don't ask me to leave again. It's late. It's time to turn off the light. Wait. I need sleep, but you've got to go to sleep too. Don't move until I get back. Mother is sound asleep. <laughs> Take these. No. Take them. They're nothing but a couple of your mother's sleeping tablets. Take them. Now you will sleep soundly until morning and be fresh for work. Better go to bed now. I'll wake you in time to go to work. That's a good girl. My, we look fresh this morning. Sleep well? Mother doesn't look well. Oh, she's all right. She's just asleep. No, she's sick. She's strong as an ox. In fact, I think she can even walk. She just pretends not to in order to arouse your sympathy. What are you going to do? Nothing, nothing. I'm going to wheel her out here where I can watch her. I hate her room. Now, you run along. I'll make her some coffee when she wakes up. Oh, I'll have some, too. No, you won't. You overslept. Now get to work before someone wonders where you are. Go on. But you should have told me yesterday. I kept wondering why you were so nervous. I I couldn't tell you, Ted. You were so upset yourself. I, I was afraid you'd insist on going over there. And, and I know he meant it. I, I know he'd kill her. Well, I'd better go and take a look at your mother. But you can't, Ted. I can't let you in the house. You won't have to. I'm not letting you go back there. I must, Ted. I can't leave Mother alone with him. All right. Then go back there. Tell him... Tell him she went to see a doctor because you realized that your mother was sick. Tell him that that you called the doctor, but tell him that you didn't make any mention of his being in the house. You won't believe me. I know you will. We'll have to gamble on that. I'll drive you around the corner of the house. Then, while you go into the house and explain things to him, I'll, uh, I'll make my call. What then? Then what then? Darling, I don't know. I don't know, but do as I say. It's all I know right now.
What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the library? I didn't go to the library. Where's my mother? You didn't. What? My mother's sick. I called a doctor. Let me go. You what? told him about me. No, no, I didn't. You're I, lying. I, You're I, lying about your mother. No, I... I no, you I, tricked me. I tell you, it's true. She's sick. I know my mother... Who is that? The doctor. Tell him to go away. No, please. She's sick. You must believe that. Go into your bedroom. Go. I've got to let him in. Not yet. I'm going to hide behind that closet curtain. Don't breathe the word. I warn you. I don't care what becomes of me. But if you open your mouth just once about me, I'll kill your mother. Now let me... Morning. Where's our patient? This way, Doctor. Ah, now we'll see. Get me some hot water, please. Yes, sir. Her lips are blue. She died of cyanosis. She took an overdose of sleeping tablets. Oh, Kevin. Darling, you've got to believe that, that she did it for you. You've got to believe that she did it for you. This evening were Loris Lambert, Joan Lawrence, and Jay Easton. Be sure and join us next week for another presentation of Suspense. Our story will be The Scar, starring Ralph Bell. Also, be sure to listen to Suspense each Thursday night on your radio.